Hey Deckers, with the full release of Starfield approaching fast, you're going to want to get the most out of it on Steam Deck. Now, one of the mods, which is Steam Deck Essentials, is making a huge difference, as you can see here on the Steam Deck, and is definitely going to be essential for playing this on deck in the long term. However, they have changed their process. I'll link the guide that I've done below, but do look at the version from the old files to get the version from that guide as there seems to be a few issues with the newer version right now. However, what you're seeing here is what I used and is still working perfectly fine. As you can see, you're getting a good 10 to 15 frames per second boost in a lot of situations. It's looking so much smoother with no dynamic res kicking in so often and also the fact that it is just much more stable. With the FPS mod here, you can see we're getting a lot less dynamic resolution, especially in this firefight, and we're sticking above 30 frames per second most of the time. Whereas with the no mod on the standard version, it was really struggling to hold 30 frames per second here, and you can really see the pixelation in those turret laser beams. And when we're taking off and landing, we just see such a nice, smooth transition. Not showing the frames per second here, but I will switch here. And you can see we're getting almost 10 frames per second difference and getting no resolution dips at all. It's really looking good with the FPS mod. And this is only just the beginning. Looking at planets sitting out in space, again around 10 frames per second improvement and just much smoother all round. Now this is hugely visible in New Atlantis and some of the bigger towns. It does still dip occasionally under 30 frames per second. But without the mod here, you can see we even dip under 20 frames per second. Dynamic resolution is really trying hard to reduce those graphics to keep that frames per second up above the 30 mark. And this is in a not heavily populated section of town. So you can really see how hard the deck is running. And you can run it without these mods and you will get a good-ish experience, but you will get these hefty drops in town. Whereas with the mod, as we switch over once again, running through town, we do still get very minor dips under that 30, but very quickly it gets back up over that 30 mark and we get that no resolution dip with the dynamic resolution stabilizing very quickly. I must admit that the implementation of dynamic resolution in Starfield is superbly done, but obviously if we're dipping below 30, it's going to be noticeable. The best settings for this one are using the low preset that they gave us here, keeping dynamic resolution on, render resolution back up to 70%, and keep the sharpening on 50%, but you can also put it up to 70 as well if you want a bit crisper image, and the film grain completely off, as well as the depth of field as well. With that, you will have an awesome playthrough. And no doubt we'll see even better tweaks as more people progress and we get more shader cache as well. Let us know in the comments below if you're going to be playing modded or whether you'll wait for Bethesda to release some patches. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.